The fate of a Mount Charleston school heavily damaged by severe weather a little clearer today. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagaro attended a Clark County School District Committee meeting where there was a lot of pushback over closing Lundy Elementary School. This school still remains closed. I mean, you can see damage and yellow tape at the school. It's been this way since last year when Hurricane Hillary came through this community. Residents and community members want a voice to help this school stay open on the Board of Trustees, and they say they currently don't have one. We had to go beyond what our normal advocacy route would be because there's no voice for us on, on behalf of the parents and the kids that are up there. Chris June Kiliani, a former elected official, lives on Mount Charleston and spoke before the Bond Oversight Committee on Thursday to keep Lundy Elementary open. But she wishes the trustee that represents this district, Katie Williams, could help them. Trustee Williams has not been seen. Um, she has not contacted us. She has not returned our phone calls or emails. And it, it, we, don't, we do feel like we have no advocate. The district says it will cost them at least $5.5 million out of pocket to repair the school, which currently has only 10 students enrolled. We don't know the actual cost of everything until we get in there. There's a premium for, for cost to, to provide construction of that area. But there is pushback from members on the Bond Oversight Committee. Will this have a domino effect to other schools on the east side of Las Vegas, north Las Vegas, in my community, because I know we're not closing no schools in, in Summerlin or in Green Valley or in Henderson. This is a singular decision based off singular facts. Williams, for her part, has missed more than a dozen meetings. Several of her fellow trustees also sent a letter to the Clark County District Attorney asking for an investigation into whether she still lives in her district. Only the Board of Trustees can close the school and they'll be discussing Lundy Elementary at their meeting next Thursday, June 27th. Reporting on my Charleston, Joshua Pagaro, 8 News Now. Now, CCSD says the students who are currently at Lundy Elementary School would attend Indian Springs next school year. Keep in mind, though, that's about a 70-minute ride one way for those kids.